Hello everyone and welcome to the APM Academy. In today's video, what we're going to go over is the dashboard overview. The dashboard is a very powerful tool within Appfolio. It helps you to maximize your workflows and your efficiencies within the system. By default, most of the dashboards will have a pretty consistent layout of having your move-ins, move-outs be the top two priority sections or headers. This can be customized at any point by hitting the customize and then clicking and dragging. For any section that you also do not need or it's taking up too much space and keeping you from the, your main metrics that you wanna see, you can also choose to hide them at any point and hit save. That will remove the section. Another important section on the Appfolio dashboard is going to be your portfolio summary. Here you can see all active units whether or not they are rented, available, or vacant. This helps you maximize your turnover time and efficiencies in making sure every unit is occupied. And if there's not a unit occupied, you can go ahead and send it to marketing. This metric here for your active units is what your app folio bill is also determined by from the software company. So it's important to make sure that if you've had recent closeouts, ended management on some properties, that you are making sure you are up to date on those to make sure that your total balance due on your active subscription is an accurate total and not counting old properties that have long been closed. Another useful section on the dashboard is the key performance metrics. Key performance metrics is a useful section to compare your total incomes versus your total expenses in real time. You can choose to show it whether as a graph with a line or you can filter to make it a table so you can compare month by month in real time. This is useful to compare to your total market or gross potential rent, which is set on the property pages under the rental information section. Another useful section of the dashboard is the maintenance tab. Here you can keep track of work orders, whether they are new, whether or not they've been assigned, estimates requested, estimates been approved, scheduled maintenance, waiting on requests, whether or not it's work has been done and unbilled for the last 60 days, the bills ready on the work order, or if the work order has been completed and not billed in the last 60 days. This helps you keep track of all work orders and make sure that you guys are staying on top of your maintenance side for all your properties. Delinquencies is another useful section. This helps you to keep track of when your tenants are paying and when they have not paid. Upon this section, once the system is fully activated, you can then send any delinquent tenants in 60 days plus over into debt collections. You can also, from this delinquency section, access the delinquency report with just a click of a button, and then you will see all tenants and their delinquencies. Another useful feature of the dashboard is its number one task is the calendar, which also has its own subsection here. The nice thing with the calendar is that you can click on it and sync it with your Google Calendar. This will help you to keep track of showings, of requests, of leases, and all the different things that are going on within your system and have a more manageable area to keep track of all of them. Or you can also, on properties, set the designated activities and view them on your calendar as well. You can do this by going to the property in question, upcoming activities, add an activity, the date is happening, the hour, description, roll review. You can say the label of what it is. Right now we don't have any labels in the system. You can assign it to a specific user. And then you can set the status and then save. Now we have a user that's been assigned the rent roll review and by going back to our dashboard and clicking view calendar, that user will see it on their calendar as well, but you will see it as well. Another way to keep efficiencies and assign tasks to your in-house property management team. Another useful section of the dashboard is the leasing activity. Here you can check guest cars received these are the requests made online by potential tenants. Applications in progress and received. This is the guest cards that get converted during the move-in process to rental applications, where you can run their screening reports 
and verify their income. Here you can also see their, their leases out for signing, whether or not they are ready to be countersigned, and any leases re recently that have been fully executed. This means that both the tenant and you, the property manager, has signed the lease. You can also keep track of your leases that are expiring. You can see whether they are expiring this month or the next month. This allows you to keep on track of whether or not you need to send renewals out or contact the tenants uh, and see whether or not they plan to renew. You can also keep track of your units that you've posted online through your online posting settings on the properties. And upon unit turn, you'll be able to see your average turnover time here of how long it takes you from move out to getting a new tenant within the system and in the unit to be occupied, thus helping your total income stay consistent and not have a lot of downtime between the unit being rented and unrented. Thank you for watching APM Academy brought to you by APM Help. If you have questions on the content, you can find us at apmhelp.com or reach us at info at apmhelp.com. Like, share, and subscribe for more.